Hey everyone and welcome back. In today's video we're gonna discover how we can find the center of any circle just by bisecting two chords. So we, our first chord is CD and our next chord is AB and you could have drawn these chords anywhere on the circle. In a subsequent video I will have to do the parts of a circle for those of us who are not aware. Alright, so we see that the length of our first chord CD is about 277 millimeters and we want to bisect it. So in order to do that, we're going to draw an arc whose radius is slightly more than half of the line. So we're going to use 150 millimeters as the radius for our arc. Something to note when you're bisecting a line is that the radius of your arcs must be more than half of the line that you're bisecting. That's one. And two, you must use the same radius for both arcs. You must use the same radius for both arcs. Alright, so our second chord, AB, has a length of approximately 300 millimeters. So again, we're going to bisect it and we're going to draw some arcs and we're going with a radius of 160, which is slightly greater than half of the chord. And again, I'm drawing the second arc for this chord. And I use the same radius. I use 160 in both of them. So we have both sets of arcs here now, and it actually looks like an eye, looks like a cat or something of the sort. This was not intentional. <laughs> it just turned out like that. So now I'm going to connect the two intersecting points of the arcs. And when I connect those points, that will be so these are my bisecting lines and now it looks even more like a cat or a ninja now we need our bisecting lines to intersect with each other so i'm just going to extend the first line there you go to cut the second one now where these two bisecting lines intersect that point is supposed to be the center of our circle all right, I'm just going to label it here. I'm going to put a zero. So the point labeled zero, which you're probably wondering, what point are you talking about? <laughs> the point labeled zero is the center of a circle. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to change some layers because right now everything is in the same layer. It's the same type of line. And it's all very confusing. Alright, so these are our bisecting lines here. Let's change those layers also. I cannot help but think that this drawing looks like a ninja of some sort. Alright, so we'll go with this layer. So these two blue lines, where they intersect each other, where they cross each other, that's the center of our circle. And we're going to do a test. We are going to do a test to verify that it is indeed the center. What is the test? We're going to draw a line from where the two, li two bisecting lines intersect to the circumference. And then we will check the length of the line. So you can see it's 156.0391. All right. Now, if we understand the circles, any line from the center of the circle to the circumference should be the same in length, 156.0391. So we have the same length again. And just to be clear, let's do a third one. So you're going to do a third line. 156.0391. So there you have it. 
our construction is accurate we drew three lines from the supposed center to the circumference and all three lines gave us the same length down to the fourth decimal place which i'm sure you'll agree is very very accurate all right so i'm just gonna change some layers here for the chords just so that it looks a bit more appealing but that's it that's how you find the center of any circle any circle doesn't matter you draw two chords you bisect the two chords and where the the bisecting lines intersect that point is the center of your circle as always if you've learned anything please leave a like and if you haven't already please subscribe for more videos